267. I've had students at Florence Elementary for the last five years. And the feedback I was getting from the cooperating teachers and the students is that the greatest time of growth for them was at the end of the semester when we had them do a two-week immersion. And so I was talking to Ms. Reesing one day and I said, why don't we just move class here and help make that connection happen earlier and every day. And so she was completely on board with it. So that's really how it came about because of all the feedback saying that the greatest time of growth was when they're here every day. By having NKU here, I knew our students were gonna win. I knew that our students were gonna be able to go further than they could before. I've loved the experience here. It, you really become part of the class and not just the random college student that comes in two times a week. It's um, a different way of doing teacher education. So traditionally we have students on campus a couple days a week and then they sort of drop into elementary schools a couple days a week. In this situation um, our NKU students are in Florence Elementary four days a week having their classes here, going into classrooms, returning to um, the designated classroom to have more coursework. So we're on campus the entire time so it's really neat to be able to interact with staff here and develop a better relationship with students. So what does that mean today? I think it's unique and I think it's innovative in the fact that we're willing to shake things up and do things a little differently for the benefit of the elementary students, for the classroom teachers, and for our teacher candidates. All right, boys and girls, we've got our daily oral language on the front. Our, our mission statement here at Florence is to build lifelong learners. Um, so I believe that we're doing that in the program. We're not only building our learners of our students, but the learners of NKU students and our teachers as learners as well. You really get to like teach what you're working on coming from our 8, like our 8 a.m. class, going in at 8.30, the stuff that we learn in that little 30 minute block really transfers into what we're working on there. Like I'm able to see some reading, like fluency stuff working. While if I go to class on Monday and learn about it, I'm less likely on Tuesday to remember what is really going on there besides taking all my notes and not really participating within like classroom instruction. The relationship building is just better. Uh, the children are more um, comfortable as every day, with every day that goes along and it just makes all the difference in the world. What would my number be down here? The comfort level with them saying, I need help, it hasn't even been an issue and it's been great to watch her, hear her encouraging words, um, hear her build their confidence. It's been great all around to blend it together with what Boone County is trying to do with innovative programs and trying to be a 21st century learner. Um, I feel like this takes traditional teaching to the next level. It also brings in the community, it brings in our teachers, but it also impacts our kids in ways that we couldn't have before. To see the students have that trust in you as a teacher, especially um, when you're in there four days a week, they see you as an actual teacher. When you're only in there two days a week, you can't see as much growth and you don't get to see the normal routine. A lot of times when you're only in there two days a week the students act differently because they're like oh we have a guest so we have to behave better but it, when you're in there four days a week you really see how the students always are. It's different for them because they're immersed um, they're getting to know sort of the daily work of teaching um, they're doing a lot more rather than sort of taking a more observer stance they're teaching um, working one-on-one -on -one with kids, teaching small group, you know, helping with the daily procedures and things like that. This is the trend. This is the direction that I think the field wants to go, where um, the practice of teaching is really the focus of what our, our students are doing. That there isn't this divide between, here's the work that we do in our university classroom, and that's separate from the work that's going on in elementary classrooms. I wasn't sure what to expect. I have been totally blown away. The students that are coming through Northern now and the students that were getting here, I think back to when I was doing my student teaching, they are by far ready to take over in the classroom. I'm excited to see where it's all going to end up one day.